Hey guys, it is Thursday here in West Virginia and we're doing an update on our projects and progress diorama. Up until today, we've had nothing but M2, uh, I guess they're auto projects. Uh, they don't say it on the package anymore, but I'm assuming that's what they are. Uh, a couple of them came from the auto hauler sets and one was a regular cube box release and that was the 71 Charger. The Mustang Fastback, it came from one of these auto hauler or three-piece sets. This Jags box is a custom-made thing from my Mr. Norm's diorama. I just threw on top of the Mustang to kind of give it more of a real life feel to it. And then the Roadrunner was another auto project's. Piece. As you can see, this one door is raw with some like Bondo on the bottom, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so those were the three that I had up until now. And I used my 70 or 69, whatever it was, C10 ramp back hauler in this diorama. That was the only thing I kept from that set. I ended up getting rid of the 61 Impala and just keeping the ramp back. And it fits perfectly with the diorama. So, uh, today we're adding one of these Ollie's Holiday Specials, the Auto Projects, or these are Projects in Progress by Johnny Lightning, 1966 Chevy El Camino, which is an awesome casting, I believe it's an Auto World casting that uh, Round 2 sent over to Johnny and used it in some of their series. So, pretty cool car, true to scale, in my opinion. And at Ollie's, they had the other uh, counterpart to it, which is like a yellow color. I just like this one better because of the gray primer and the red and black fenders and stuff. It just looks I don't know, more realistic. And I just need one of each type of vehicle. I don't want two of the same cars. So, we got a Roadrunner, we got a Charger, Mustang, now we got an El Camino. Finally got a Chevy and our uh, little, like, barn find diorama. So, anyways, this is only, or was only $3.99 at Ollie's near our place here in West Virginia and Beckley. Uh, they didn't have too much to choose from. There was hundreds of uh, Johnny Lightning cars, but they were all either the 1966 Chevelle Zinger, this project in progress, and then, like, a 76 Mustang, and a, I think... The other was a two-pack of a Silverado and Camaro, new-style Camaro. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so they had quite a few of each model there, and all the White Lightnings were gone. I got there a little bit late, but I was just happy to get this guy. And some people have been telling me that Ollie's have been getting new shipments over the past couple of weeks of these Johnny Lightnings, or they had more stock in the back room that they're putting out. So I'm going to check my Ollie's again when I'm back in that area, maybe next week. So that would be cool if I could find a couple more projects in progress and maybe even score a white lightning. So let's go ahead and get this guy ripped off the card and take a look at him. And this is what was in the lineup. And this is exactly what was there. They had the 62 Chevy Impala, Coupe Zinger. They also had the 66 Chevelle Zinger. The Demo Derby 65 Chevy Tow Truck, which is kind of cool. I just wish it didn't have painted tires. Black with Flames 93 Pontiac Firebird, which is another cool casting. And Spoiler 70 Dodge Dart Swinger and the Project in Progress Chevy El Camino. And all these other ones had, I don't know, unrealistic looking paint jobs. That's why I didn't bother with them. But the Chevelle, or Chevelle well, Chevelle El Camino, um, was pretty cool. And it does fit the bill for the diorama. So let's get him off the card and take a look at him. And as you can see, they make quite a bit of these. 14,956. I guess that's why there's so many left over and they're popping up at Ollie's. So... As you can see on the car, they do a good job with, like, the weathered, like, rundown of, like, rust. Like, where it got wet and rusted on the top and kind of just did those rusty runs on the side of the bed, which is pretty cool. And then you can see where 
it has Rada on the lower part of the bed. And somebody has went over it with like a pour 15 type paint to stop the rust or something like that. And it has steel wheels, primer door, primer hood, and a black, maybe like NOS fender. Because usually the NOS stuff back then was black. And a grill, you can see they painted over one of the lights to make it look like it's missing a headlight. Which is pretty cool. And just a regular style flat hood and it does not open so easily that's about as far as i can get it without forcing it open so i'm not going to do that now flipping it to this side most of it is still red so that gives you the feeling that it was originally a red el camino and going around to the back side you have detailed tail lights and tailgate and such inside the tailgate it's painted black it's got the trim around the windows, and it's got the vent window. So very realistic casting. I really dig it. So it will look really good setting here as our first Chevy in the diorama. So that's it for today, guys. Just wanted to update you on my diorama of the project cars once again. We're starting all over again as of this past March. That's why it's kind of does not have what we had in the Philippines a year or so ago. We did get Chris back but it's in the display case and that's where it resides i used to keep the one that i had originally in my uh diorama in the philippines but this time it has a place in the display case with the other variants of christine from auto world so we'll be back again tomorrow and we're going to be unboxing a dairy delivery. Uh, it's a new pop culture one, the Moon Eyes one, which I think is awesome. It's probably the best one of the set, in my opinion. It's one of two that I picked up from the set. I picked up the Combi also. The Combi, though, we'll just take a look at it. I probably won't unbox it, but the dairy I'm taking out of the package and I'm putting in my display case, so it's part of my collection. And that's probably what we'll be doing for our Friday. So I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Uh, only one more day to go, guys, and it's the weekend. Thanks for watching.